today I'm back with a brand new video on a brand new subject. I get asked all the time, whether it's on my blog, on social medias or on this YouTube channel, what I do to stay healthy, what kind of exercise I do, what kind of diet I follow, all that kind of thing. So I thought it would be interesting to do kind of a fitness and health series of video. In this series of video, I'm going to share all my tips and tricks, what I do on a daily basis, what my diet is, what I do when I go to the gym, um, I can do what's in my gym bag kind of video. If you have any requests, just leave them below in the comment section. You can always tweet me at Style Playground. I read every single tweet that I get, I read every single comment. So if there is a video that you want to see, just pop your request below. If there is a topic that you want me to talk about, just Leave it in the comment video as well and I try to do my best to answer and do videos that you want to see. So first of all, just a quick background about me. When I was a child, I was really active. I was doing a bit of running with my dad, I was doing a lot of biking in the countryside and I was playing tennis. I just loved to play tennis, I was playing tennis a couple of times a week, I just loved it. I spent all my summer playing tennis and it was... A really good time in my life. I was a really active child. I just love to be outside and to, to exercise basically. Um, things changed when I was in high school or middle school. Basically when I was 13 years old I wasn't active at all. I dropped tennis because I had to play tennis Wednesday afternoon and Saturday and to be honest when you're 13 years old you just want to spend time with your friends go shopping, go to the movies, go bowling, things like that. And I was always stuck at tennis and I decided it was time to me to stop, basically. Now, I have to be honest, I really regret making that decision. It felt really good at the time because I spent really good times with my friends and the best friend that I met over the time of the year are still my best friend nowadays. So. I'm really glad that I did in that sense, but I really regret that I quit tennis because now if I want to play tennis, I'm really bad at it. It's like I never played and I was pretty good when I was young, so I kind of regret that decision, but I can't really do anything about it. I really want to go back to tennis in the future, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so when I was 13 years old, as I said, I dropped tennis and I wasn't active at all. I was the kind of girl that was really lucky. I could eat anything that I wanted and I didn't gain a kilo. Um, that changed when I turned 15 years old. You know, I would eat a bag of chips every single day. I was drinking fizzy drinks. I was eating sweets all the time. I wasn't really careful about what I ate, so I gained a lot of kilos. and. I didn't really know what to do because I used to be really active and to be able to eat everything that I wanted and I started to be really self-conscious and I wasn't active at all, like the only sports that I got was moving from the television to the fridge then back to the couch in front of TV, that's, that's the only thing that I did on a daily basis. I always avoided um, physical education at school, my teacher hated me for that. Um, when I was 14 years old, I really decided to get back on track, um, invest myself in the gym class and that, that turned out to be a nightmare because when I was 14 years old, we were playing basketball and I was running to get the ball and my left knee actually bent the other way, like instead of going that way, it did that and I fell on the ground. I was crying because I was really hurt and my teacher obviously hated me so she didn't want me to go see the nurse. So I stood up on my feet, I walked really painfully up until the headmaster office. I asked him to call my mom and we went to the emergency room. I had to wear a special thing around my knee for probably three months. I was off running but at the time the teacher, the gym, the gym teacher didn't want me to be on the off running so I was off completely. I didn't do any exercise at school, I just dropped the class. Um, so obviously I wasn't active at all, I hated myself for what happened to my knee so I didn't do anything up until I was 17 years old. When I turned 17 I decided to subscribe to a local gym. To be honest I didn't go really often, I would probably go twice a week do 10-15 minutes on the elliptical and call that a day and a good exercise. 
um, I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. I was just looking to get thinner and to get healthier, but that didn't really work out because when I turned 18, I started to, you know, go out with friends, um, drink. I was at the time living in England and I was eating crap. Then when I was 18 years old, I moved to Paris. I was living on my own, so I didn't really eat healthy food because it would drive me mad to go to the grocery store every two or three days because I just didn't want to. I was studying fashion design, that meant that I often was awake until 3 a.m. So I was relying on my local Starbucks, I was eating crap frozen food made in the microwave, I wasn't healthy at all, I wasn't fit at all. I used to walk a lot and use the Vélib, which are like the um, free city bicycle that you can rent. Um, so I was I wasn't fat or anything, but I wasn't active or healthy or anything at all. So when I moved back to Belgium nearly two years ago, I decided to subscribe to um, a wonderful gym. The only thing is that the gym is six, seven kilometers away from where I live and there's always a lot of traffic gym. So I can't really go there between seven and nine a.m. because it's just a pure traffic gym. I can't really go there during lunch because the same problem and I can't really go there at 5 p.m. because the traffic is just awful. But I really like my gym because it's really big. It has two swimming pools, a sauna, a hammam. It has a lot of machines. It has um, some power plates, which I really like. So I'm really happy with the gym. It's just that like it's a bit far away from where I live. So nowadays what I do is that I go to the gym probably five times a week. I always switch things up. So for example, I today I'm going and I'm going to be on the elliptical machine for probably 45 minutes to an hour. Then I'm going to do some abs. Um, tomorrow I'll probably do my arms. Um, I like to go biking. I like to do strength training. I like to do stretching. I just like to go to the gym and really focus on my time. I sometimes go swimming but I'm really bad at swimming and I didn't have a proper swimsuit until now so I really want to get back on track and go swimming because swimming is really good for you. Last year I ordered a new pair of um, running shoes so I became a runner. I was every single day I was out in the street just running, I just loved it. I used to hate it, but I now I love it. Sad thing is that my knees hurt again, so I'm off running for a while. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on how I got started on running, what I like about it, what I hate about it, and why I'm off running right now, and how I deal with that because it drives me insane. Because sometimes you don't really have the time to go to the gym, or you simply don't want to. Um, running was such a great thing because I can just pop on the street, ran three or four miles and I was over the moon. It was quick, it was easy, I was outside and now I'm off running so I'm a bit bummed but I think that's about it as far as exercise go. So about my diet, I don't really diet which means that I don't want to lose any weight or things like that. Um, I'm vegetarian since I turned 10 years old. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that as well. Just to give you clues, tips, tricks, how I stay healthy, being vegetarian, what I eat, what I don't eat, why I became a vegetarian, that's going to be a whole other video because I'm going to be rambling about that if I do it here. So I try to eat as healthy as possible, I try not to drink too much coffee, I don't drink fizzy drinks or soda because um, I used to drink a lot of um, diet coke and things like that and it ruined my teeth so I don't touch it ever again um, and that's about it. I just try to eat healthy whole fresh foods over frozen things and take out and things like that but it's really easy to do once, once you know what's good for your body. I just love to exercise, it's such a part of my life now. If I don't exercise for a week I just go mad because it helps me to relieve the stress, it makes me happy and it makes everything better, like my skin is better, my hair has never been better and that's all because I eat healthy foods and I exercise. So I think that's about it for an intro video, this is gonna be quite long so I'm gonna stop here. Um, keep your eyes out for new videos if you have any topics that you want me to talk about. 
just leave a comment or tweet me or Facebook me, do everything you want to get my attention on what you want. I hope you liked this series of videos, I'm thrilled to film it and thank you so much for watching, bye!